Hey, what's up you guys? This is Chad Christian. Have you guys bought an iPhone 10? Are you planning on buying one? Or are you gonna give one away to one of your friends or family? I'm gonna show you today how you can master all the gestures on the phone. Stick around to the end and I'm gonna show you some advanced features that you can do on your brand new iPhone 10. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the first thing you have to remember on your new iPhone 10 is swipe up as home. That's your new home button. Everything else is pretty straightforward. So let's go ahead and open an app. So you can see here that we've got Instagram open. It's fast, it's fluid. If you wanna be able to get back to your home, swipe up. Now, if you wanna to get to multiple apps, there's a couple ways you can do it. You can either swipe up and hold. That'll allow you to get through your previous apps or you can swipe up and over to either side. Let me show you again, swipe up and over, left or right. You can also swipe on the bottom of your home screen, which will quickly get you through your apps. Now to close an app from memory, of course there's, you can either swipe up and hold or you can swipe up and over, which is what I prefer. Then you just hold on to the app itself. You can see there it puts the little minus symbol. You can then swipe away or just click the minus button to get rid of it. Now one thing to note, if you're running an application that is in landscape mode, so let's say I'm watching a movie here, it's in landscape. So if you're watching something in landscape, you have to remember now that your home button is on the bottom of the screen and not from the bottom where it used to be over here on the side. So you can see the home button's right there. And again, there's your home button. Now the gestures that everyone's talking about, there's a couple of different gestures that go with this phone. So in the upper right hand corner, this is your control panel. This gives you access to everything that you had before where you would swipe up on your iPhone. If you want your notifications, swipe down either in the middle or on the left hand side, and that gets you your notifications. If you wanna search for any apps or notes or anything on your phone, swipe down again anywhere on your screen. So recap again, upper right is your control center, down in the middle is your notifications, down anywhere on the screen to search, and of course swipe up is your home button. Now for some of the advanced features, if you wanna take a screenshot, hold your new Siri button or power button right here, and press the up button, the up volume. So now you can see that it's taken a screenshot. One of the cool features of iOS 11, of course, is that you can circle, you can write on things. If you wanna power off or have your SOS feature kick on your phone, you're now going to hold the power slash Siri button and the power and the volume down button. So you can see here you had the emergency and or SOS. Now one of the cool things with the new iPhone 10, of course, is that you can hold the button here, the power button slash Siri button, as I like to call it, and then you can activate Siri that way. So here we go. What's the weather today? And of course, to get back home, it's just swipe up on the home button. If you guys have any questions or comments, make sure to leave them down below. If there's any cool special tips or tricks that you want to tell me about, make sure you leave them in the comments. I hope that's been helpful. If it is, make sure you subscribe, click that like button, share it with anybody who has an iPhone 10 to help them out. And I'll see you guys on the next video.